This is Michael Cowan, and welcome to Trial Lawyer Nation. You are the leader in the courtroom, and you want the jury to be looking to you for the answers. When you figure out your theory, never deviate. You want the facts to be consistent, complete, and credible. The defense has no problem running out the clock. Delay is the friend of the defense. It's tough to grow a firm by trying to hold on and micromanage. You've got to front load a simple structure for jurors to be able to hold on to. What types of creative things can we do as lawyers, even though we don't have a trial setting? Whatever you've got to do to make it real, you've got to do to make it real. But the person who needs convincing is you. Welcome to the award-winning podcast, Trial Lawyer Nation. Your source to win bigger verdicts, get more cases, and manage your law firm. And now, here's your host, noteworthy author, sought-after speaker, and renowned trial lawyer, Michael Cowan. Today, I'm here with my marketing director, Isabella Santayan, to do a special episode uh, talking about why you should come to this year's Big Rig Boot Camp. How are you doing, Isabella? I'm great, Michael. I'm excited about our upcoming boot camp this year. I am too. So when and where is it? So we're going to be at the La Contera Resort and Spa on July 12th here in San Antonio. We're excited. We want as many people as we can to be there. We want to fill that room. Yep, absolutely. It's super cheap. Uh, It is filling up, but we do want to encourage people to sign up before it fills up. We're hoping to get at least 250 people there, but we have room for 300. So We are really excited. We've got a really good program. It's also super cheap. And the only reason we even charge, honestly, we we charge less than what we spend putting it on. But when the past, when it was free, like 15, 20% of the people wouldn't show and they'd take the seat away from someone who would. So not only are we paying for food and liquor for people that don't show up, but they're also taking a spot from someone that did it. So we just found when we have a, you know, fairly nominal charge and it's, you know, it's what, 250 bucks? Yes. You know, just a little bit of commitment makes people more likely to go. If not, at least pays for the food you didn't eat. But it is going to be a fantastic program. If you're interested, you can go to BigRigBootCamp.com. One other thing I want to mention while we're on, we are hiring. Uh, We are hiring. We're growing. We've had an incredible year, and we are blessed with more work than we can do. We're having to say no to a lot of work at our firm. This is Calvin Rodriguez Peacock, not Big Rig Bootcamp, but... Uh, We are growing and we are looking for two uh, mid-level associates. We're looking for someone with three to five years of civil litigation experience, could be either plaintiff or defense side. You know, it's, we do work hard. We also have fun. We are more committed to training and development of our people than I think any firm in the country. We do weekly trainings. We have a model courtroom where we practice uh, on a regular basis. We all go to the top symposiums. We've all been to the trucking truck driving school for lawyers. So we've all been behind the wheel of an 18 wheeler. If you want to be developed as a trucking lawyer uh, and company vehicle lawyer and work in a place where it's, we love each other, we have fun, we respect each other, just send an email, michael at cowanlaw.com. Love, send me your resume, tell why, why you think you'd be a good fit here. You do need to be licensed in the state of Texas. And again, we're looking for three to five years experience so if you're interested, you know, give me an email. We'll see if we're a good fit for each other. So, Isabella, what, what kind of things are we, are we doing this year? This year we have a great lineup of topics that you're going to be presenting on. Um, we have our annual game show that we're bringing back, um, a fun way to get that ethics credit this year. Super excited about that. It's always a fun time, a little bit different than your typical CLE seminar. We have a live presentation with one of our experts that you'll be doing as well. So it's going to be a great time, a good presentation. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, we, we, we have the fun element. So just instead of an ethics lectures, but everyone needs ethics credit, we make a game show. So we have fun, we have energy, good lights, good music. It's a, it's a cool experience. But I also want to make sure that if you come, you get an experience, you get knowledge, you get information you're not going to get anywhere else. So I just want to talk about some of the things that we're going to do. So the first one, and I'm really excited about this, there's something in trucking. It is also used in other kind of vehicles that are company owned vehicles called telematics. And that's where they use a satellite and a GPS system where a company can track where their vehicles are going, how fast they're going, whether they're slamming on the brakes, whether they're taking turns too much, too quickly. Well, we bought one of those systems and one of our experts is out there playing with it right now. And we're showing how the companies can set things up for safety. 
and then what the companies see in real time uh, when their drivers commit violations. Now, we're not doing anything unsafe, so let's say it's a 55 mile an hour speed limit, we'll set it at 45, so when we go 55, it'll still get an alert like it's, like it's speeding in the system. So we're not gonna endanger the public while we're doing this, but it's really fun. I mean, I, I've gone to seminars where you see like promotional materials or ads from these things or discovery, you know, People, things people got in discovery, but this, I've never seen anyone actually buy the system and show how it can be set up, what the companies see. So I'm really excited about that. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. We finally got it all together and we're getting it done and we're going to share what we learned there. And that way you'll have those tools in your arsenal. Anything you think is going to be a neat one? I think uh, the opening statement topic that you're going to cover at this year's boot camp is a real interesting one that people definitely don't want to miss. Yeah, you know, I'm really, Mallory and I have been working together, uh, Mallory Peacock, my partner, on really refining what we've learned from David Ball, from Sari Delamotte, from all these other consultants, but kind of combining that with Carl Benninger's 12 Heroes, One Voice, to get an opening that not only tells a compelling story of what the defendant did wrong that makes the jury conclude that the defendant deserves to pay before we ever mention it, but also enrolls the jurors in their, in their roles as heroes, the roles of the people that are going to have to do something in the case from the get-go. So we're going to talk about the, the structure and the theory behind what we're doing, and then we're going to demonstrate. So we'll, we'll say, like, this is the first part, and we'll go through the parts, and then we'll demonstrate. This is the second part, and we'll show the kind of graphics we use. And, of course, we'll give you all copies of those graphics if you want to use any of them in your, your trucking cases or company vehicle cases. We'll have all that there. And, again, we believe in sharing, and it has been working in trials. So we're very happy and very excited to share that. Same for our direct example of a trucking expert. I'm not going to say the expert's name because I don't want – Next time I put this expert on the stand at trial for the defense to say, well, you were at Mr. Cowan's trucking seminar. So we're going to, you know, you have to find out who it is when you get there. But it's someone that's really good, someone that we use. Uh, he and I have already been working together on this project. So we're going to, again, show my theory of how you put on the most persuasive direct expert testimony. Uh, this is going to be from a liability expert. This will be trucking specific, but you can use it with any liability expert kind of how you equip and arm the jurors with the tools they need to solve the case for themselves, how you present the testimony, how you incorporate visuals, and, you know, how you bring it all together uh, and get the expert to help convince, you can't really convince the jurors, but how to arm the jurors to do the right thing that they already want to do. So that should be really fun. And of course, the expert will be available for any kind of questions or anything people have, uh, either on how to do testimony or, you know, I'm sure he'd be happy to consult with you on your cases. Uh, especially if you might hire him. We're also going to do some other things. We're going to go, you know, one thing that we see is in trucking cases is oftentimes they'll claim, well, there's no coverage because it was an enlisted vehicle or there's only a $750,000 policy in this case. Well, where are all the ways you can look to either make the insurance company pay when they claim there's no coverage or to find other sources of recovery? Again, we're going to show you how to do this. We're going to give you the tools, uh, make it just in simple language, uh, so that you will be able to spot these issues and make sure you don't get shortchanged on your cases. Two other, three other things we're covering. One, uh, I love the title. Uh, Mallory came up with it, not me. Uh, what to expect when you're inspecting. We're going to go into, you know, when to do an inspection, when not to do an inspection of the vehicles, when you're better off not doing it, and what to look for, the tricks the other side plays, from cleaning up vehicles to games with the electronic downloads, what you can prove, what we're looking for. We also talked about a lot of times, you know, you need to request these documents from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Well, the problem is then you get these hundreds of pages of documents. What do you do with them? So we're going to go through all the different kinds of documents they give you, what they're called, what they uh, show. And then we're going to give examples of how we've used those documents in real cases so that you, when you get them, you, you'll know how to get them. You'll have the forms. You have the email address to request them from the government. And then you'll know how to use them and to actually put your cases together. And finally, one of my favorite topics, uh, we call it teleporting trucks. When you have log books and you look really closely and the driver goes to sleep in one place and he wakes up in another, you know, how the, in the age of electronic logs, truckers cheat and how to catch them and prove that the company knew about it all along. It makes it a much bigger and better case. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of great information. Again, I really hope you all can join us here in San Antonio on July 12th. Just go to BigRigBootCamp.com and register. It's cheap, it's easy, and we look forward to having you here. Thank you for joining us on Trial Lawyer Nation. I hope you enjoyed our show. If you'd like to receive updates, insider information, and more from Trial Lawyer Nation, sign up for our mailing list at TrialLawyerNation.com. 
You could also visit our episodes page on the website for show notes and direct links to any resources in this or any past episode. To help more attorneys find our podcast, please like, share, and subscribe to our podcast on any of our social media outlets. If you'd like access to exclusive, plaintiff lawyer-only content and live monthly discussions with me, send a request to join the Trial Lawyer Nation Insider Circle Facebook group. Thanks again for tuning in. I look forward to having you with us next time on Trial Lawyer Nation. Each year, the law firm of Cowan Rodriguez Peacock pays millions of dollars in co-counsel fees to attorneys nationwide on trucking and commercial vehicle cases. If you have an injury case involving death or catastrophic injuries and would like to partner with our firm, please contact us by calling 210-941-1301 to discuss the case in detail and see where we can add value in a partnership. This podcast has been hosted by Michael Cowan and is not intended to, nor does it create the attorney-client privilege between our host, guest, and any listener for any reason. Content from the podcast is not to be interpreted as legal advice. All thoughts and opinions expressed herein are only those from which they came.